Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather Redenture Diva. How's it going, guys? I hope you guys are all doing well. And know that you guys can always get a hold of me on every social media outlet and ask me any questions. Um, the normal hours of when I talk to everybody to let everybody know is between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, because I want to spend time with my family. I have a lot of things to do. And between my autoimmune, doing it 24-7 and not having a time frame, people were trying to video chat me on Messenger at like 2 a.m., which was insane and woke up my kids. So that being the case, I stopped that real quick. So you can contact me guys anytime. You can leave me a message anytime, but I will respond between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, with any questions, you guys can shoot me an email too. Everything is in the description below um, to contact me, which is our next Atelis video. Don't forget guys, I also have a second channel inside the Mind of a Diva, which is gonna have everything on it between cooking, makeup, skincare, autoimmune, surgeries I'm going to be getting done, all a bunch of everything. Um, sorry I'm sweating and doing all that. I just walked to the food store because I'm trying to stay fit um, and walked back with Stevie and I'm sweating so badly. But um, I wanted to make this video while it reminded me of things not to eat with dentures. Now I spoke about this before, but far too many people this month have messaged me about their broken teeth or their denture. So I want to help everybody and tell them that you can't eat things like we used to enamel strong bone um for our normal teeth and these are plastic so whether you eat m&ms or peanuts or pretzels or anything please know that it's something you're not allowed to eat with your dentures if you look up what not to eat with dentures there's going to be top 10 things there and most people are like oh i've done it before so it's not going to do it over time it will affect your teeth absolutely um and most people think it won't happen to them until it happens and then they learn their lesson. So guys, stay away from like most candy because especially caramel will stick to your teeth and can pull them out. These are, the, this is just acrylic. These are plastic. So they're not strong in any way. Um, like me, I gave up pretzels, but I do eat pretzel crackers. So they're softer and I'm very careful. If you're gonna get, eat like M&Ms, suck on it before you bite into it suck on it to where it's soft and then you bite into it and then it won't affect your teeth but like peanuts nuts stuff like that everybody's like well cashews are softer not really guys um they're not really all that soft same with like walnuts are softer than anything but they're still nuts and these are plastic teeth so i believe if the food is stronger than your teeth you shouldn't be eating it just like i tell people with steak when you make steak, don't overcook it. And you want to make thin slices. Like, I believe a steak should be medium well or medium um, to be in that is softest. And all you have to do is make really thin slices. And it won't be tough. It won't be hard. It'll be like eating chicken. Um, and it'll be super tender when you do thin slices like that. So don't, like, make, like, big chunks. But, like, pretzel rods can mess up your teeth. Biting into an apple... You know, everybody's biggest thing with dentures is, oh my God, can I bite into an apple? Why would you want to fuck up your teeth? Even I was talking to, I was talking to a group of dentists on YouTube and they were like, what is people's fascination with if you can bite into an apple with dentures? He's like, do they know that they can take out their teeth? And I'm like, I don't think they do. Like other YouTubers go on there showing that they can eat apples, you know, just bite into it. But that's not really representing good advice. Um, I don't really watch YouTubers of any kind, really. Um, the only really denture YouTuber I ever watched was Spida Liz. I don't really watch anybody else, but, um, which I missed the hell out of her. I loved her personality. But you got to be careful and realize you shouldn't eat things harder than what your teeth are. These teeth are plastic and... They really, out of all these years, they should have learned to make them better. Just saying. I don't know why they haven't come up with a way to make it like bone, but not. But instead we get plastic. But I've seen so many pictures, guys, of teeth being cracked. Totally, tooth just came right off. I've seen them come straight out. Like, the things people show me. But, you know how many times I've seen the most two foods? The most two foods that take out denture teeth are peanuts 
the nut family. We'll just go with that because I've seen him with all things. And this one guy was like, don't let anybody fool you saying that cashews are softer. He goes, I just broke two of my freaking teeth on cashews. So I've seen it with all the nuts and I've seen it with people biting into an apple. Uh, this one girl that was trying to start out to be a YouTuber, she made a video and she immediately videoed me, um, sent me a video and was like, Heather, I just broke my two freaking front teeth and one of my bottom front teeth on freaking an apple and the teeth were in the apple. I was like, what the fuck? That's insane. That's epically insane. Guys, if you want to eat an apple, just cut it up. Take the skin off. If, well, you don't need to. If you like the skin, go for it. But just cut it up and just eat it like that. There's no reason to think that it's like a Me Too challenge. Like the Tide Pods and all this other stuff. And who can do this with their dentures? No, because I've seen a lot of people take their teeth out with apples. So please stop trying to bite into apples, guys. Apples are really hard. And I think Macintosh are a little softer, but most apples are super hard. And if you're biting into them, you can loosen your teeth. So please stop doing that. Eat with safety. Pretend these are your babies and you're protecting them with your life. Be super careful, guys, because so many people think that nothing bad is going to happen to them. Please stop thinking that because anything bad can happen to anybody, first off. And... These teeth are just plastic. Like, I could tell people till I'm blue in the face not to eat certain things, but people are going to do what they're going to do. It's either you listen to me or you don't. I just put out the information. But just know, guys, like, I get the most... And I'm going to protect their privacy, obviously. I'm not going to say who, and I'm not going to put up their pictures without their permission. But please, for the love of God, stop biting into shit. <laughs> like, stop doing that because you're ruining your teeth. But I've seen somebody recently just break their teeth on an m and girl, and I'm so sorry that happened to you. But like I told her, just suck on, if you have an addiction to M&Ms, because I know a lot of people that do, if it's peanut m and stay away from it. But if it's a regular m and just suck on it. All you have to do is suck on it, it'll become softer, and then you can bite into it. But it's crazy because it was one of her back molars. I don't know. I, it's weird because when I look at everybody's teeth, I see how they break, you know? And normally the teeth get like melded into the acrylic and it sticks to that. And then there's some people that send me pictures that break their teeth and it looks like the tooth was just glued on. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video this week and I'm gonna tell you and explain to you how they really make dentures. So, if your denture's not made that way, then I would really ask them, why was it glued on? I don't know. But you guys gotta be careful with your teeth, please, please, please. Because you guys can't eat the same as you did with real teeth. When your teeth were good and you were able to eat whatever the hell you wanted, even our real teeth broke. You know how many times I've broken my real teeth on pretzels? A lot. We'll just say the right side of my mouth, a lot of them are crowns because it was broken from the freaking damn pretzels. So, I mean, you want to eat a soft pretzel, go to town, but be careful with pretzels and peanuts, well, nut family, and super be careful with candy. Like, I wouldn't be risking like those hard ass candies or anything sticky, stuff like that, because it can take out your denture. It might not do it the first time you eat it. But keep doing it. You're wearing down the teeth and they're going to freaking break. But guys, I've seen more people. Okay, we'll just say in 2022. So it's only been a few months. Or three months. Almost four months. I've already seen people just send me pictures and videos. Probably seen about seven to ten people break their teeth on what I call the apple challenge for denture wearers. I don't know why it's such a huge thing for a denture wearer to see if they can bite into an apple. Because let's face it, most of you didn't even eat apples, but you had your real teeth. But it's like biting it into an apple. You can break your teeth. And does it bother me that people give out bad information? Absolutely. But I'm not them. I don't watch them. That's people's choices to do. 
but I'm going to give out the best information and the most correct information I possibly could. And apples biting into them straight on like that can definitely break your denture teeth. So please do not do the apple challenge is what I like to call it for denture wearers. Because I feel like every time a, U a new YouTuber, any denture wearer comes on, they're like, oh, I can bite into an apple. One day their front teeth, they're going to come out and they're going to be like, oh shit, now let's, let's not post this. Well, yeah, because your teeth just came out biting into an apple. Don't do that. Like steak. Steak is tough as hell. And I, I swear to God, one day when I eat steak, my tooth are going to fall out. But I make sure it's a super thin slice when I eat it. And I take small bites and I take my time because I do not, guys, nor can I afford keep getting new dentures. So these are just my immediate. These ones, these are my permanent ones. I've had these, I had my tops out now for two years. I've had my permanent ones for less than a year now. Something like that. I had my medias for a year, my permanents for a year. So I'm super careful, but I always save my immediate dentures because you never know what's going to happen. And I can always hard reline my top denture and wear it in case these ones break, which I pray to God that does not happen because even a hard reline costs $500 and I ain't got no extra money like that laying around. So please guys, just be careful of your investment. That's all I ask of you. And I just want to give out the correct information for people. So they're like, oh, well, nobody told us that. And I'm seeing all these people bite into an apple like it won't harm us. It can. It's hard, guys. These are plastic. I have plastic nails and acrylic. They will break. They do all the time. They break just from me cleaning. So please be careful. Just please. I just like to give people information so they could take it or leave it. You know, at least you knew the full information. It's like benzodent. When I tell people benzocaine itself is dangerous, it lessens the oxygen in your blood, you can die. And it's a black label warning on every single benzodent, but nobody reads the back. But I like to give people out all the information so at least they can make their own judgment, their own choices. You're grown adults. But you had all the information when making your choice. So I always like to make sure I give out the correct information before I anybody goes to do anything. So they're fully aware. But guys, I've seen people break their denture on so many things. Like they don't want people using bagels because bagels can be tough. And tearing apart, it can loosen your denture, guys. That's probably my guilty pleasure is I love bagels. Um, but I don't live in Long Island anymore, which had the best bagels ever. So, sorry guys, my eyes itchy. So, um, yeah. I miss Long Island bagels so bad. Cinnamon raisin's my favorite bagel of all time. But I definitely miss Long Island food. But I hope this video's helped anybody. Um, but just be careful when you guys eat, please. If you guys do genuinely love apples and you actually ate them even before your dentures, just cut the apple up in little bites and eat it that way. Um, even hard carrots. That's a big thing on the websites that I keep reading all over the place with dentures and, you know, even Mayo Clinic and John Hopkins University. Any vegetable, steam it before eating it because it can break your teeth. You guys got to understand these are not bone. Just plastic. So please be careful and take care of your investment, guys. Um, and if you guys ever need any help or you have questions, just comment down below. Like the video so it goes into the algorithm and other people see this video to help them. But you can message me and get a hold of me anytime, guys. I'm always around and I answer everybody as quick as I possibly can. But I love you guys. Have a great day. God bless and stay safe. Later, guys.